Nollywood High School web series and how this has been a current trade in the Nollywood industry. Web series are actually short films that as episodes being featured on platforms like YouTube and other social media platforms. The first web series I actually watched was Chicken Girls, actually owned by Brat TV, an Hollywood studio. And it was really interesting and I love the fact that they were able to use young stars, mostly influencers, teenage influencers, they were able to use them to grow this community ship kind of relationship and also creating this new set of rising stars in the Hollywood industry. For the fact that we Nigerians are trying to recreate that concept, giving younger generations opportunities by using web series is really, really amazing. Then we would see someone of 33 years or literally playing a teenager in a movie. But a web series, the age range are usually tied down to a specific range. For example, you get to see casting call within the age of 18 to 22. The fact that they're able to give these young people opportunity, this is this concept, new, giving us new actors and actresses for the future is literally amazing. So my friend actually introduced me to Best Friend in the World, owned by Neptune Studios. And I was really interested in it, not just because of the high quality production, which is actually a plus plus, but because of the fact that they're able to tell us how Nigerian educational system look like, how the high school friendship bond we usually build with our mates, how we would wear our school uniforms with our baby hair tied up and go to school with our white socks and how the whites have not even understood how our educational section looks like. This web series has actually given other countries platform to see how the Nigerian high school system is, to see how the teenagers behave, how they build bonds and how they build friendship. Currently now, there is this one that I am so in love with, High School Magical, the VFX, everything is just insane. They are implementing a lot of editing styles in this web series with the cinematography and the fact that there is actually a new audience for this web series. You get to see a video having a million views. Even if you're not an high schooler, it's nice for you to have this feel of how you felt when you were high school and the fact that it's relatable. I know your question will be like, what are filmmakers doing this web series? high school web series number one youtube is free it's a platform that is free unlike other streaming platform or like other movie festivals most of the scenes are being shot in the classroom literally around the school environment most of the web series we don't really see much about their family interaction with their parents we literally see the interaction with the students with their teachers around the environment so it's a way of minimizing cost of production no professional actors needed so we are not using professional actors only if the cast requires some influencers to help boost and promote the web series in the future. So the paycheck would not be as much as it would have been if we have more professional actors. Another one, there is a large audience for it. Like I said, the industry is great. People are really interested. They want to see how high school looks like in Nigeria. So I personally love this idea, this concept, because we are building actors, we are building actresses for the Nollywood industry. We are building future generation. The first season of Best Friends in the World, I noticed the acting skills of these actors were not so good compared to the recent season. To show that as they keep on acting and as they keep trying and perfecting their act, they get better. And I'm 100% sure that these studios also offer acting lectures to these young ones to make them better because it's actually to their advantage, right? So my name is Victoria Jaja and this is the Nollywood News. Yeah, web series. Amazing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and drop your comments. And if you want me to do a part two where I will list five web series, high school web series you should try out on YouTube with their YouTube handles and everything, drop a comment in the comments below. And yeah, that's just how it is. So bye.